Hi, and uh, welcome to Easy Fishing. Well, it's a bit late in the evening, but um, I thought I'd grab a couple of hours and see if I could catch a tench down the river. But this time, I'm using different gear. So instead of using a pole, I'm using a centre pin reel and a 13 foot float rod. Now, the rod I've chosen today is a Drennan 13 foot tench and specimen float and uh, I've got it with, I just wound on about 50 yards of uh, six pound line. I have a pole float comprising a Drennan um, carp two, taking 0.6 of a gram, uh, fluorocarbon hook length, size 10 hook, um, and I'm gonna try a variety of baits today now because it's bright and I haven't got a lot of time I don't hold out a lot of hope because I'm now due to fishing uh, off the rod top I'm now fishing in about less than four feet of water but I'm going to start off with a couple of uh, good sized dendrobinas on the hook and uh, see what happens there an actual f so I don't know what the tension will in fact actually uh, I'll start off with one nipped in half and then hook both ends on the hook incidentally is a size 10 Drennan super specialist still chance of very big fish and as for my last video you have seen some of them can be very big now whether I'll get them out if I hook one on a rod and reel, well, it remains to be seen. But anyway, so I'm literally just dropping this off my rod top in a hole in the weed. And incidentally, the weed has really hit its summer growth now. There are patches in front of me that have hit the surface and it's 11, uh, well at the top end of my swim it's 11 foot deep, but lower down it's 12 foot deep and they've reached the top. The lilies, they're flowering. Uh, yes, this could be interesting if I hook a fish, but let's hook one first. So, uh, I'm literally just dropping this out off the rod top. Like I said, I haven't got a lot of time but I'm gonna do my best to catch something. Uh, bait wise, I have a few dendrobinas, um, half a loaf of bread, sliced bread, white bread, and uh, some eight mil pellets. And I do have a little PVA bags and some dip if I feel it warrants a change, but we'll have to see how it goes. So at the moment, it's just suck it and see. Like I say, this is only gonna be about less than two hours before the light is gone and uh, I haven't got had enough time to rig up camera lights and stuff which I've never done before at night other than a quick 10 minutes on the beach so I'm not sure how to set it all up so let's just crack on and do our best who knows could get lucky oh incidentally um, on my last video on here Someone said, if the rowers start to head through my swims, I have to shout, a head sculler, which apparently is the correct form to tell them, look where you're going. But that will be interesting to see if they pay any attention to it or not. I hope they do. Right, let's go on with the fishing. Well, I haven't got enough worms to introduce as feed. So I had to think about this and I thought, well, why not introduce a little PVA bag of pellets? Can't do any harm. Uh, we know it works down here, so yeah, I'm just going to try that. I'm going to glug it and still fish with worms on the hook. And there's a lot of uh, fine weed on the bottom here, which is uh, a bit of a problem. And of course, uh, all the usual idiots shouting their mouth off. 
So let's just uh, nick this. There's a lot of philatomous weed here. Let's just nick that through the PVA bag. And drop that in. Well, it can't do any harm. Just because you're using a worm on the hook doesn't mean you can't feed pellets. You would fish caster on the hook. Whoa, that's a lot of bubbles just came up. You would fish caster on the hook with feeding hemp seed. Why shouldn't this work? I see no reason why it shouldn't work, so just wait and see. But like I said, there's a the swim really needs raking out again. There's a lot of weed in the swim. And amazingly the rowers are seem to be staying away from the land. I'm never gonna believe this as well. Just as this colour approached, I had a dip on the float, so mm. There's fish down there. Uh, playing them might be something uh, of a problem. Even though I've got six pound line um, and a six pound hook length, with all this weed and lilies in here, should I? Well, you've seen how the fish charge off, and this is a. Quite a powerful float rod, but we just have to wait and see. And I, I might even try bread as well on the hook if I don't get anything other than little dips on worms. And I might even stick a banded 8mm pellet on as well. But I'm just going to sit back and uh, enjoy the last bit of daylight. I don't exactly know what time it is, but. Uh, there's not a lot of hours in the day left. So um, after a couple of half-hearted bites on the worm, uh, one section of the worm was removed and I've now changed to a small piece uh, of bread flake. Um, I am having problems with the wind, however. It's, the toe on this is about the same as a river, uh, uh, as a lake and the toe is going from right to left naturally but it's very slight and every time I get a gust of wind it's blowing upstream which is not helping my presentation and uh, well, we shall have to wait and see but I think there's a good chance we will get a tinge but um, while it's uh, still daylight, I, the chances are slim. The light levels need to drop before I realistically stand a chance. Now, uh, regrettably, uh, all the wash from the rowers is um, not helping my presentation because it drags the float out of position every time uh, the uh, rowers go past and then I'll pick up weed as it gets dragged out of position. But hopefully they'll go home in a fairly near future and uh, I'll be left in peace and quiet. The window for catching this evening is going to be small however. And fishing bread, I've had lots of little dips and bobs on the float and looking down in the water in front of me uh, right in the margins, it's about three foot right next to the bank, maybe a tad more, and I can see loads and loads of small roach. So I guess that's what's been the uh, dips and bobs on the float. But like I say, another boat just went through then, and the wash is, yeah, it's creating a fair amount of problems. Well, at least the rowers seem to have. Uh, mostly disappeared and uh, 
peace and tranquility apart from the geese are descending upon the river but I have been hearing a noise in the background um, which I think is a, a weed clearing boat on the uh, boating lake in, on the other side of the river um, but anyway uh, now it's relatively peaceful and tranquil and the light is fading it uh, is rapidly approaching batter clock so they'll, I'll probably only get a window of half an hour when I stand a realistic chance of getting a bite because unlike with the pole I'm now fishing much closer uh, on top of the near side shelf and it is much shallower here you're probably only talking four feet of water at most so the tench definitely don't like coming into this shallow water uh, until the light fades so like I say I'll just sit it out for the rest and hope I get one fish if I get one fish I will be very satisfied well exactly as predicted at bat o'clock I don't think it's a tench though I think it's a slab that's a nice slab whatever but that's exactly the time. i just seen my first bat and I got a little lift on the float and then it was away. It's not an enormous fish but I'm pleased to catch it well. I will be when I get it in the net. And when it is a nice slab. And there we have it. Ooh, that's quite a chunky fish. Whoa. It's in beautiful condition too. Whoa, 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 baby. And the hooks come out in the net. So, I think I can hold him up. He's obviously going to slime me up, but uh, see what best I can do. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there we have a prime river slab. I would say he's about five pounds. So, although I didn't catch a tench, I'm very happy to have caught this. There you go, you bronze beauty. And there he goes, safely back in. Well, I think I'm about out of time, but uh, true to form, just as the light fades, so the fish come on the feed. So, no tench, but a very respectable slab. And I think on that note, I'd better quit and go home because I can barely see now. So thanks for watching and hope you'll join me again for another episode of Easy Fishing. Hopefully I might catch a few more. Tight lines to everyone.